Hey guys, it's Baldrick here. Um, it's really hard to record this without, I don't have any way to put this on me, but, um, I'll be doing absolutely no work on this cabinet here. Um, actually I have been, I've been working on the artwork for the marquee. I've been redesigning it and I just I haven't come up with something I like yet. And, um, yeah, I haven't done anything with that, so that's done. What I do have that's really cool is, you probably saw it already, MVS, the Neo Geo MVS four slot uh, dash 25. Um, hey, you can actually see me there. It's a dash 25, which I mean 25 inch monitor version two. Yeah, it's quite a bit to say. So it's a Neo Geo MVS 25 version two. Um, as you can see here, this is the slot I have been, or this is the RK cabinet I have been searching for since uh ever since i started wanting to buy them um this is probably it like once the only thing i'm gonna be that's gonna be any different now is i'm gonna be buying carts for the thing so that's awesome i just don't have room for many many arcades this is four and one and then some because there's over 140 something games for the neo geo so that are interchangeable and um Everything's basically original, according to the guy. There's a few things that are different. Um, but, let's see here. There's only one thing that he replaced, and I'll show you. <clears throat> Out of all the buttons on here, he, all the buttons are original except for one, which is right here. If you look at it, you can see the micro switch is completely different. That's because the whole entire button's different. Um, it, it touches differently than the way the other buttons do. It's noticeable, but I don't really care. I might fix it if I run into the right color button. Um, but yeah, everything else is original and working, which is fantastic. Um, you can see here, this is for the monitor. And if you look back, back there, you'll see um, the MVS cartridges along with the MVS system. So everything's there and it's all working. Um, the cartridges are a little finicky. I have to put them in, put them out. But they say that these these systems, though they are finicky, once you have them working and you don't touch them, they they stay working. So once I get the cartridges in there the way I want and they're all the whole the games are working, I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, let's see. Uh, well, let's go ahead and start it up. Let's see. Let me reach back in here. There's a little test switch. <clears throat> Not a test switch, but a little little literal switch. The whole thing lights on. This bulb doesn't work. There it goes. Video system. Eh? Yeah, you see here, the credit displays for each player, and they, they do work, which is really cool. Air Fighters 2. So the games I have in here are Air Fighters 2, Bust to Move Again, Metal Slug, the first one, and Samurai Showdown. Which I think Samurai Showdown kind of doesn't play very well. I don't know, that's my opinion. Um, I think Samurai Showdown 2 was a much better game. Well, anyway, um... You'll see here, let's check out some of the cab here. On the side, it has the intact uh, artwork. Um, this side actually doesn't look that bad except for the little hole right here from someone putting a screw in too big to mount the monitor in this thing. Um, I don't know if the monitor was replaced recently or what. I don't know, let me see. It looks like that's been there for a very long time. I'm not sure. Um, that works much better on this side. Well, it's not better. It's mostly intact. It's just a little more cracked on this side than the other side. So it kind of evens out. The MVS control panel is mostly good. No real problems here, except for a few cracks. Like right, there's one here. And I thought I saw one over here. Hey, right there. 
Other than that, the thing's mostly it is intact. Like it's not faded or anything. Um, this is a metal control panel, which is nice. Um, the monitor is mostly good. I know there's some kind of problem here. I got to fix. I'll address that later. Um, what else is there on this cabinet? Oh, as you can see, if you switch to games, right? Like the game switch. Video system. Man. The Samurai Showdown? Let me guess. I think only three games are working right now. What is this? Taito. Yeah. So the last is the last slot's not working. I know it works. It was just working right before I started the video. So basically, if it's not seated all the way, or if there's any problems with the way the system is reading it, like the cartridge is dirty. Instead of the system just showing you garbage, um, since it has four slots, it just shows you the slots that are working. So, the fourth slot works. Like, if I were to turn off the system here, do some troubleshooting. All right. And then go back here. And if I were to reach back here, ugh. yeah, see, it wasn't in the way. And reach back in here, hit that switch. It's, I think this is really cool. Yeah. So let's see. Winners don't use drugs. So that's Arrow Fighters. I think this is supposed to move. Let me see. Yeah, Taito. Yep, title bust a move. Metal slug. And Samurai Showdown. See? Real finicky systems. Uh, a Samurai is not death. But yeah, the cabinet is 100% all here. Um, like I said, these don't light up. As I was saying before. So if I hit the switch game button, like right now, this should be lit up. And then when I hit the switch game, I go to Air Fighters 2, this should light up. Move up, bust move again, you know. And you switch between the games, and it does that. Um, another great thing is, I forgot to mention. Got gotcha, you loud. Um, the coin door is here, right? And there's two games. So, we have Blazing Star, which is a bootleg of the real game, or a bootleg, so that means it's, you know, not an original because if it was, it'd be really expensive and then we have Metal Slug 2 just right there, ready to be played um I've been using the coin door as storage yeah, it came, it came with its own, uh, card I'm gonna get a quarter out of here and I'll show you I'll show you how the system works. Maybe it's in the wrong key or something. Fuck. Alright. So you see, if I put the quarter through here, right, it'll feed and it'll come down and hit this little arm. It's hard to see it in the video. There's a little tiny arm here. Here, I'll just flick it. See that? So it gives us a credit. And then when you put the quarter in there, when you feed it in there... Well, I didn't get a credit. <laughs> the fuck? Well, whatever. I, I gotta fuck with it. But it's easy to give yourself credits. So, you put a credit in the machine, it counts it at one. And then you just pick a game that you want to play. So let's say if I want to play Arrow Fighters, right? So I'll just hit start. And then it plays the game. Oh, I just noticed the video, like the, the way the video is being displayed. You got these lines going up and down. It's definitely not looking like that in person. It's just weird. This game's badass. I love playing as fucking 
Kinnon. I am a ninja. My life is lovely and difficult. <laughs> I don't know if I can play this one-handed. Wow, this game looks good. I'm going to be playing this game. Got him. Yeah, there they are. The fucking missiles. Giant robot. I'm only playing this until I die, but fuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I beat the first boss. With only one hand. I don't have any bombs. Come on, die, son of a bitch. Oh, yeah! one-handed but yeah that's pretty much it oh yeah I was gonna show you guys this so um hold on. I might need both my hands for this one so I'm taking the marquee off so I just drop that down a little bit and pull off this marquee and I'll show you what's going on with this as you can see here Marquis kind of just slide in like that. Looks like someone just printed this one. This one here on the right. So that's not an original. I think the, I think the person who sold it to me said it was a printout too. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. So these are called um, EL um, panels. Uh, basically, EL panels don't last forever. They last like 30,000 hours or some shit. That's a long time, right? Considering, maybe not for commercial use. Maybe even for commercial use, that's a lot. Um, actually, that is a very long time. Uh, but it's not like they're expensive. I think the EL panels, well, they are kind of expensive for what they are. I think they're like 15 to 20 bucks a piece uh, for this size. So, you're looking at fucking 80 bucks right there. Just about. And the thing is, like, they burn out. That's just how it is. So basically, it kind of just lights up the whole entire panel. It's pretty, it's actually really cool. Um, to replace these, you basically just peel these off, because I think these are super glued on. And then, once you peel them off, you just gotta solder the leads from here to the cable, because it's, it's gonna come with a cable. These come with cables, and you basically just solder them back on. I'm not very good at soldering, so this will be a good chance for me to learn. And if I do suck at it and I can't figure it out, which is kind of like bad, I'll have my buddy do it. <laughs> I have a buddy who could solder stuff. He, he, he went to the class for it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'd have Blazing Star in there if I had a marquee for it. I'm kind of obsessed with having marquees for the games. And then another great thing is the marquees... Even though they're not expensive, they're kind of a pain in the ass to get a hold of. But it's really not that big of a deal. Because you could just buy. Um, or not buy, you could just print out your own. Like this one's not even an original, and it looks pretty fucking good. Right? Like you look at you look at an original, these are all original. Right? And then you look at this one, and like, it fucking just looks, it looks good. I don't have any problems with it. If anything, the originals look bad. It's like, look, the colors are washed out. Like I'm, even though it's original, these colors are washed. This is an original, but it's starting to yellow. It looks like someone's been smoking around it, which I don't have a problem with, because I'm going to be smoking around this. So, it's not a big deal. Oh, wow, this video went on longer than I thought. 
but that's pretty much it. I mean, it works. It's 100%. Um, I had some issues early. Um, he mentioned that the monitor would like fizzle every once in a while. Um, honestly, I haven't been no I haven't noticed it at all. God, I remember the first time I saw this game when I was a kid. It just blew me away. I thought it was the most amazing game I've ever seen, Graf graphically. Like, I used to remember watching him move. Just watching him move was like something. Oh, another great thing to note is I got a pretty good deal on this machine. When I say good deal, I mean it's a good deal in retrospect. Um, I paid about uh, 600 bucks for it. Um, let's put it on a quieter game. I paid 600 bucks for it, and it, uh, what do you call it? Um, it came with Air Fighters 2, Blessed Move Again, Metal Slug, Samurai Showdown, came with all the artwork, and it came with two other additional games, Metal Slug 2 and um, Blazing Star. Now, the Blazing Star, no one, I don't really know how to value the Blazing Star. The Blazing Star doesn't really have any value, in my opinion. Um, since it's a bootleg, it's not a real... I mean, it's real hardware, but it's not a real... Um, it's not a real cartridge. So it's kind of hard to value a bootleg. But the games themselves, like Metal Slug here, goes from 30, like, okay, I'll go cheapest, what I found. These games are the cheap ones. Metal Slug is like 30 bucks, 20, 30 bucks. Samurai Showdown 1 is like 20, 30 bucks. Busted Move again, I think it's 60. Air Fighters 2, honestly, I think it's like 100 bucks, right? And then, like I said, the Blazing Star. I don't know how to value. But Metal Slug, no, it's a quarter. Metal Slug 2 is worth like 60 bucks. But the, if that was an original um, era, uh, here actually I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna turn the system off. Oh yeah, the keys aren't original either. That's something he put in. Right, so if we get Blazing Star. Show you how anime this game is. Well, I don't know. See, Blazing Star. The label looks original. It's too bad the cartridge isn't. So if I were to pull out, let's say, I like Busted Move. And Metal Slug. Let's pull out Samurai Showdown. I like Samurai Showdown, but let's be honest, it plays like ass. I think the second one is when the game became more playable. The first game was cool because of what it was. It was a fucking fighting game that used weapons. And then like, you could lose your weapon. This in here. Uh. <clears throat> That's it. Close this back up. Let's put this over here for now. Right, let's start this baby up. Let's see if Blazing Star works. Probably won't. Not my fucking luck. Got to reseed it. Some blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's fucking cold here, as you can see. I'm wearing a cap and fucking everything. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, it works. Cool. Blazing Star bootleg.
Look how anime this is. Fucking weebs. Aw, uh, yeah. They knew what they were doing. It's phallic. Oh shit, you see that ass? Okay. So typical 90s, am I right? Fucking weird space shit, babies and fucking stars. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> bleeding 90s. I mean, this machine is bleeding 90s, but let's see what the gameplay looks like. Yeah, it's just a sideways shoot 'em up, like our type or any of those others. This game is pretty. Like I'll be honest, for like many, 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 many years, I have not used an actual CRT monitor. Like, for example, bonus. That's annoying. Wow, that's really annoying. I've been playing my arcade games with LCDs, like, <clears throat> it just doesn't look the same. Like, you look at these, and they're pixelated, like, if you get real close, I mean, they're both, everything's pixelated, right? and you can see the sprites for what they are, built around a bunch of squares. But if you look at this, I mean, the screen is like, I don't know, it just, it's just something so, it's something you gotta experience for yourself if you haven't. It just looks so clean. It's like the, it's like the TVs were designed for your eyes, whereas LCDs were designed to be looked at. I don't know, it's just weird. It's just really weird. But I like that, I like the auto demo. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing really else much to say. I'm going to replace the EL panels up here. So these light up when I turn the games on. Because they, the, the, the whole entire thing works. Like the whole board up here works. There's no reason why it wouldn't work unless it's just broke. Straight up broke. But uh, people don't say those. I don't read a lot of things about people replacing the actual back piece. They actually, actually, they do replace the back piece. But only because they do an LED mod. Whereas it uses a different, separate board and it's hooked up to your system. And it's like, why do that when you could just buy new EL panels and just replace them? And just leave it the way it's supposed to be. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. That's it. There's not really much else to say. Like I said, I got Blazing Star in there. I'm just going to leave it in there because that game's really fun. But yeah, Busta Moves is shit. But um, yeah, that's what's going on. Future plans... Um, so in the future, I plan on working on this cabinet, replacing this, let's see, this thing's not fucking on there straight, <clears throat> whatever, replace the, replace this is the first thing I need to do, then I'll order that, because that's only going to be like 30 something bucks, and then while that's going on, I'm going to start working on the artwork for the side, I'm going to start working on, on the artwork for the control panel. I still need to cut a T-molding groove here. I need to replace the coin door. I need to mount the speakers. And that's about it. Oh, and then I need to print out. That's probably what I'll do. I'll start working on this, work on this, working on this, working on that. And then I think I'm gonna, I think the next, I think honestly, the thing I'm gonna work on next while I'm trying to get this done is just get a bezel. Just get a bezel for this because it looks ugly. God, it looks so fucking ugly. And I have the coin door downstairs to replace this with, so that's not a big deal. But this is just so ugly. And I'm tired of looking at this. So I'll get a, a, piece, a poster board. I'll buy a couple sheets, maybe three sheets. They're not worth anything. And then I'm just gonna cut one and set it in there against the glass against the monitor and just um, figure out how other people did it and then 
you know, just mask all this off because it just looks so ugly. It just doesn't look good. My God, compared next to this, this thing's fucking horrendous. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it. That's my MVS video. Things fucking hot. Like I said, there's a few things I need to work on, but uh. I'm, I know it's going to break in the future, and that's okay. Because um, when it does, I'll just watch videos and then fix it. So, And if I can't, then I'll just take it somewhere. So, Alright guys, video went on longer than I thought. So, take care.